Just making some adjustments to my uh, start and stop locations. Just make sure I stay inside my window. Getting closer to the end. Looking at the online calculator, about 1,820 turns is needed. I'm going to go north of that and just unwind as necessary to achieve 19 millihenries or close to that. Let's stop it there, 1951. I'll take a chance that I'm still above my uh, 19 millihenry goal. Let's turn on the LCR meter and see what we get. 145 ohms and you can see our inductance is just under 26 millihenries. Let me uh, kick off some extra windings just like I did in the previous video. See if I can get this down closer to uh, 19 millihenries to match the original coil. That is the one coil that was uh, not open. I guess about as close as I'm going to get actually removed uh, 240 turns if I counted correctly. So we'll look at the math here in just a bit and compare that to the calculator to see what the uh, percent of error was. If you guys are interested in building the coil winder, just look for a uh, pop-up at the right top corner of the screen and depending on your viewing device if you don't see that just look at the video description you'll see a link to the video and you can look at that video description for the URL to the sketch for the Arduino and some hand drawings again this was more just a, a prototype that I haven't uh, refined past this point but it seems to uh, work well enough when the need arises to uh, wind a new coil. And one quick look at the inductance and resistance of the original coil. Again, the one that's uh, not open, that being the primary. 133 ohms and uh, just under 19 millihenries. I'm going to see if I can remove the uh, cap off so I can leverage the uh, solder terminal locations. Well, that popped right off, so uh, very simple to remove. It was really just the Litz wire soldered back to the, uh, well, remaining three locations. I had already removed one, but I think I can uh, actually leverage the dowel that's coming through and uh, put a little epoxy on it and do just a a little bit of an offset from the former, still make that fit inside the can. I'm going to clean this thing up really well with some alcohol and an acid brush, and we'll go from there. Looks like it's going to clean up pretty well. As you guys can see, I had to make a slight modification to my plan. Those uh, terminal lugs probably uh, desoldering the coil and then working with them. I had two of the four break off, so I just went on and removed the other two. Okay, to give you guys an update of where I'm at, you can see I've got the uh, top piece ready to be secured to the uh, dowel that I filed down to make fit. And then I'm going to uh, just slide the uh, leads and the eyelets and uh, attempt to do the soldering there and uh, just use a, a lead dress. You can see I've uh, got my white pushback wire already uh, color-coded red, just using a uh, red Sharpie marker. So I'll do that for each of the uh, four leads, the primary and secondary coil, and hopefully everything will uh, check out when I'm done. Again, I'm going to secure the uh, top piece here to the uh, wooden dowel. So there's no turning back now. I just need to secure that before I attempt to do any soldering. 
is a uh, next step. So I'm going to have a uh, waiting period of three to four hours. Probably catch this over the next couple days or so. Hey guys, you can see I'm finishing up on the transformer in the most tedious part, the uh, wire dress back to the uh, 38 AWG wire. And I'm just creating a uh, hook. You can see I've used the uh, marker to uh, color code the wire. And I'm trying to bend that just enough, the uh, hook, where I can get it down in the uh, existing eyelet and make it tight. And then I thread the uh, magnet wire through and do a little light sanding, place some alcohol on it, and then just heat the heck out of it with the soldering iron. And uh, so far, so good on the other three connections. So let me finish this one. Now to route the uh, wire. Hard to show on camera. And I should have skipped my uh, cup of coffee this morning as well. Then just a little light sanding on the uh, magnet wire. See if I can thread this down in here now. Looks simple, but for me, one of the most uh, difficult parts of uh, rebuilding the entire uh, transformer. Finally to the point where we can apply some solder and uh, hopefully secure everything. I had to hit that last connection there, the green lead with some more solder. And uh, you can see our 19 millihenries are close to that. Let me check the uh, red to the blue, the primary. Zoom out here just a bit. So we're in good shape there as well. The completed IF transformer. Hopefully this thing will work out. And you can see I've got a, a starter hole in the area that I uh, cut off flush and that 1 4th inch uh, centered out to uh, fasten this thing back to the uh, chassis with a uh, small set screw. Let me get this thing back in the uh, polish can. and put the uh, retainer ring on. We'll check inductance here and wrap up on this uh, video series. The inductance uh, will change a bit now that the uh, coils are inside the uh, can. Again, when I started my winding as far as a reference, they were laying in free space or laying on top of the uh, cutting mat here. So uh, let's see where we're at now. Hopefully uh, we're not much less than around 19 millihenries. It would help if I hook up on the uh, right ones. Kind of gave me a scare for a second. And you guys can see 18, uh, seven millihenry so uh, close enough 122 ohms let me check the other winding pretty well balanced 1873 I'll set the uh, transformer off to the side there's much work to be done on the chassis before I reinstall this hey guys you can see I've got the uh, transformer hooked up to my RF signal generator, just generating a, a CW carrier. We go back over to the oscilloscope. You'll see that the uh, transformer is resonating because of the self capacitance of the transformer, the coils themselves, in addition to the uh, oscilloscope probe. And you can see where it resonates with no tuning. And uh, hopefully it'll work out down the road. I appreciate you guys watching. Everyone out there, take care and stay well.